This sandwich is so delicious. It's a total win for the dinner time budget and it tastes like a million bucks. So Phil just put me back on the wagon, the grocery budget wagon. But I totally get where he's coming from. Grocery prices have skyrocketed and we're also building a house. If there's ever a time to budget, it's now. Here's an easy workaround I came up with to keep this week's budget on point. It's deli meat. And we'll be incorporating it into a very fancy sounding dish. It's called the croque monsieur. And don't quote me, I'm not sure if that's how you actually pronounce it. It has a luscious, cheesy situation baked on top that begins with a creamy Mornay sauce, which is just a super fancy word for cheese sauce. Here's how you make it. You'll add three tablespoons of butter to a skillet over medium low heat, and you're just gonna allow that butter to melt. Then you'll sprinkle over three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and just whisk until that's completely combined. At this point, you're gonna start adding in two cups of whole milk and you'll add in this milk just one big splash at a time, whisking until smooth after each addition. As soon as all of the milk has been incorporated and the sauce has had just a few minutes to bubble, you're gonna check it for consistency. To check your sauce for consistency, grab a wooden spoon, dip it in the sauce, and run your finger along the back of the spoon. If the line stays, your sauce is ready to move on to the next step, and be careful, it's hot. Remove the sauce from the heat, and you're gonna add in one cup of freshly grated Gruyere cheese. To make this sandwich even more budget-friendly, you can sub in a cheese like cheddar or Monterey Jack. And you'll also add in a quarter cup of grated Parmesan. Stir until everything's looking really smooth, and then you'll add in a half teaspoon of kosher salt and a generous pinch of black pepper. Today, we're gonna do this sandwich a little bit different. Croque Monsieur isn't typically made open-faced, but two pieces of bread really isn't necessary for this level of decadence. The last little element that takes this sandwich to a whole nother level is just a simple slather of whole grain Dijon mustard. It cuts through the richness of the sandwich and it adds just the perfect little zing. And now we're gonna bring in the deli ham. I have about 10 ounces of Black Forest ham sliced out of two. You're just gonna tear that up, place it on top of the bread, and then you'll reach over for that stretchy gray air sauce and add a big spoonful right on top. Then we're gonna bring in about a half cup of grated gray air cheese, and we're just gonna top each sandwich off with a generous pinch. Take your sandwiches over to a preheated 425 degree Fahrenheit oven and bake for 12 minutes. While the sandwiches are baking, reach for some parsley and you'll chop up just about two tablespoons worth. By this point, your sandwiches should be perfectly melty and totally gorgeous. And you'll just sprinkle that parsley right over the top. As always, if you guys want this recipe in written form, you can get both the ingredients and the instructions in the description below, or you can head on over to my food blog, theanthonykitchen.com, where we've got hundreds and hundreds of recipes written and ready for the taking.